Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the next week. Let's see. What do we have for you, Taurus? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have Libra energy showing up, the full moon. It's an accomplishment. It's you finding balance in your life, okay? It's a very positive card, Taurus. Can see a change about your home, your house here. Relocation for some of you. Let's see. You are very intuitive as this time. Just be careful because we have the high showing up. It's also talking about envy, jealousy. Someone is watching you at the distance of a like. But you are protected. Tell us. Opportunity, a home again. With the door showing up. And with the fish, is luck coming for you. It's about your money, abundance to us. Let's see, what do we have for Taurus? Okay, we have flowers, it's a very good energy. It's happiness, Taurus, coming for you next week. We have the butterfly. It's a transformation. It's like you're not the same. Tell us, you're going to do to try something very different from your past. It's you also growing, learning about your past mistakes. Okay. Let's see. What do you need to focus? Tell us. Wow, well, we have the sun and the queen of cups. It's you very intuitive. Because the sun is the best card in the tarot deck. It's love, joy, happiness coming for you. With the Queen of Cups showing up, you are ready to be in a relationship. Tell us your heart is opened. Let's see. Your focus next week. Be patient with yourself, okay? You are working about a project, an idea, a business. It's going to pay off. You can see you are creating foundation and stability. But you don't see coming to us? Queen of Cups, definitely. Okay? It's your loving, caring, generous, helping others. You animal spirit for the next week, tell us. Let's see. Bring new ideas to life. Just do it, okay? It's you taking action about the situation. You don't want to wait anymore. Let's see what's going on for you. You're going to have everything you want after later. There is a lot of competition here with the five of wands. We can be talking about a training, a formation. The best you can do is to collaborate with others, okay? With the nine of pentacles, you are very independent, working on your own, creating your own abundance. It's you, mature, beautiful, it's a single energy. There is a period of transition. Can be talking about a relocation, this card, okay? It's you moving to calm waters, finding your own happiness after a difficult breakup, ending, difficult situation in your past year. For some of you, you're dealing with a hurt sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's 
This person is very slow, okay, but very stable also. Let's see. So nine of swords, you're not sleeping well. We, you have a lot of worry, stress, and preoccupation on your mind. Eight of swords. Everything is going to change very quickly here. It's focus, determination. With the king of salt, it's success, I feel like. Can be talking about a job interview. It's you using your mind. You need to know that you have someone very intelligent to us. It's about the truth will be revealed. Let's see. What's going on about this five of wands? The five of wands can be talking about a fight, a conflict between you and someone. Let's see. The five of wands, we have some meditation. You are manifesting the life you really want. Just the focus is going to happen. Scorpio your energy. It's your manifestation here. Believe in yourself, so us. With the nine of pentacles, it's your very independent. It's a very good card about money, tell us. Judgment. For some of you, you are waiting for a judgment, some legal mothers, okay? With judgment, it's Scorpio energy, it's your growing learning about your past mistakes here. You need to know that you are on the right path. It's a reverse, like the butterfly, okay? Six of salt, a transition in your life, Charles. Moving in a new direction, a new goal, new objective in your life. Ten of Wands, you have a lot of responsibilities. You are taking care of yourself, of your family. It's a heavy burden. Don't give up. It's going to pay off to us. With the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah. But it's you exhausted. Eight of Pentacles. We have the Tower. Something unexpected is coming for you next week. It's like a chalk. Let's see more. What's going on here? You don't see coming this change, I feel like. It's the nine of salt. We have the lovers. I feel like you are thinking a lot about a connection to us. You're going to make a decision. Okay? It's about making a choice here. Gemini energy. Let's see. Knight of salt. Focus and determination. Fast movement here success and victory okay I feel like you've been working for a project and there is a lot of people around you supporting you you can see your family your friends your community you deserve this success tell us let's see with the king of swords live la gemini aqualus energy we have the three of swords can be taking about a breakup, a separation, or a difficult loss. Take your time to heal, Taurus. For some of you, it's talking about a judgment from your past, a divorce, okay? Let's see more. You can see we have a Maria showing up. Something you've been waiting for a long time. Some legal mothers, maybe, with the king of swords. It's going to an end. Let's see. What do we have for you guys? About this fight, this conflict here. The moon, it's your intuition. It's also success in business. You can see a change of location here. Positive change coming for you guys. With judgment, we have a change here. We have the fox. It's about your job. It's your very intelligent and strategic at this time, okay? Let's see. Something unexpected is coming for you. 
It's about moving, traveling, or you're dealing with someone at a distance here. Can be talking about a long distance relationship, tell us. Let's see, you're making a decision of a like about your love life. We're going to receive an important message or phone call, tell us. And we're talking about a contract here. Success and victory about the situation, tell us. It's the end of a situation, okay? Let's see more what's going on. King of swords, three of swords. There's a lot of forest, trust and preoccupation. It's why something is going to end. Can be talking about the end of a contract here. Or some legal matters. Let's see. Just one more. It's a fight is showing up again here. Last message for Taurus. The Ace of Wands is a new idea or a new connection coming for your new passion here. Okay, open your heart again. Let's see. You're going to make a difficult choice next week. With the two of swords, it's time for you to see the truth about the situation. It's like a crossword in your life. Okay. Taurus, it's a very positive reading with a lot of abundance opportunities coming for you you are protected and definitely with Libra showing up it's your finding balance in your life tell us tell us this is your reading thank you so much for watching being here take care bye